อาจจะให้เราทำไมปีนเฮิร์ตเนาะทำไมปีนเฮิร์ตSo show was up. So I didn't get this earlier. Yeah. So hopefully yeah, everybody can hear. YouTube and Radio I I I I think I I still have the crazy feedback or no? I could produce it. <laughs> so you're saying that I'm good. I'm wondering if I could. No. Let me just see if I could uh, play a little music here and see if this also works. I don't know. I don't know. I can try it. Let's see. See, y'all can hear me and the music. Yeah. Also, oh, both me and the music you can hear. That is so weird. I got turn off, turn on the mic to to get the music too. Okay. Okay. So. All right. You. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, Mo. So, uh, we can just turn the music now. That's cool. Uh, I can just go find a way to play the music through uh, since I'm doing it directly from YouTube channel. Uh, just. Pause that because, yeah, that ain't working out apparently. It's all good though, I could talk. Prefer to use it, I could talk. Yeah, so Yeah, 
Yeah, I was like, the music was definitely playing through these speakers and it was coming from these speakers into the microphone. So yeah, that was um, um, definitely not like coming through as computer audio. So, so it's all good. It's, I, I, I just turned the music off. It's, not playing directly from Twitch, so. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I would think Restream would have that. I gotta check this out. It's a little confusing to me. Anyhow, I have to take a little time to do this in my tea. Um, I like the one on Instagram, but I just continue with some uh, <clears throat> some other um, poses. And I just make it a little more complete, like just him and his head. Yeah, it really work out. So I'm just doing a couple more uh, poses here. Maybe just to fill this space somewhat. Got that little Mati reference. As you can see, you got kind of kind of like the same color scheme going on. Um, I definitely wanted to um, bring, you know, not not pull too too far away from the from the original characters i still want to identify them because the last time the last time people saw captain planet he was you know it, the the characters looked a certain way i i um i just want to bring back something even though i'm making them um you know modernizing them still want to do something that can anchor them to the original um the original character designs. Uh, reason being, as I said, like like uh, when the audience see them, that they can identify them, and they don't look like totally different characters. They they, they look like the characters that were created. But then then we could go um, in another direction with the. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely having them, um, you know, the familiarity because it's it, it's folks from our generation that remember Captain Planet and, and like for them to see it now and the characters are, are like totally different, total co totally different color schemes, totally different um, costumes, suits, and everything. It just disassociates everything. Um, uh, AKA the Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z movie that, that, that they made. Like, there's nothing about that that said Dragon Ball Z. There was nothing about that guy that said Goku. None of the characters looked or even acted like who they were supposed to be. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, they wouldn't look dated either. So yeah, it, it's just, it's just it, it like because it, it could have been, it could have been, I could have done the same character designs but have no different color, but, um, but they wouldn't turn to look modern. It would have still identified with the characters, yeah, but they wouldn't look modern. So modern is the way I wanted to go, um. And you know, so like 
hairstyles had to change, style of clothing had to change, but um, the color schemes, uh, yeah, definitely. That's something I could have definitely kept to anchor it back to the original character. So, um, yeah, that's that's how I choose, chose to do it. To me, to me, that was the, the best choice to um, keep them synonymous. So he may not look like that, um, exactly like that original character, I mean. I guess, um, I guess the indigenous people from Brazil look, we'll still, we'll still have that here still, that he has <laughs> some, but yeah, um, for the story from Mati is, um, is one of a uh, boy that moves to he moves kind of to the favelas of Brazil. So yeah, so so he's gonna have a, a, a different style. He still got a, a piece of his um, um, you know native kind of um, chain there so, and, and the um, feather. You know, your little pieces of jewelry and stuff. You know, those little accessories, uh, which, <laughs> which I didn't even put onto this guy. That's cool. So I could, I could work that in there. Um, so let me save this before this crashes or something. Oh, um. Yeah, so that's how I choose to do it. I, I think that Santa, uh, like Avengers, did well too as well. Like they had the characters anchored to the comic. They they are they well they figured out like what works well in um on, on in live action. So yeah, the designs, the full designs for um for the characters didn't wouldn't have worked especially hawkeye um but they kept it as they kept it as close um to you know for for persons who are used to the comics to identify with the characters readily like thanos i mean in the infinity war in um in the comics thanos that looks it, it it definitely has like some stark differences to the one in the comics, but at the same time, it kind of has the same basic shape, but again, modernized. And the real, um, if you ever see use the, the real costume, obviously, you know, it wouldn't have looked as cool as it did. But what I mean, Yeah. So that's that's kind of a lesson they kind of took from um, Avengers in particular, or at least the Marvel Marvel movies. Um, first time we really notice how they did it is um, how they did redesign Captain America. So I was like, how oh, are they going to get Captain America look? like Captain America and not make him look cheesy and changing those changing those like feathers to um, you know to just a paint on on his helmet such a good choice you know what I mean like little things like that they, they could have just completely left it off and said oh, we don't know what to do with them like but they added that little element onto the onto the helmet like instead of them being real there's or instead of taking them off completely which is kind of also why i like the designs for um x-men first class too as well because they, they put back some of that yellow into the suits um the the first one 
you know, even though, like, yeah, you got the character like Wolf Reed who has his hairstyle, thankfully. Um, like, other than that, how they know he was Wolf Reed, you know, like, the day that everybody is in, in like, black leather. So I was very, very glad that they've put um, some of that yellow back um, from the original X-Men for all who know the comics. Um, on the ultimate. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I, I think, I think, yeah, they, they really took it out. They really took a good, made a good choice as to using what designs. Because again, ultimates are, are, are modernized again, and like Ultimate Avengers with um, Hawkeye, Hawkeye actually look more like the one in in um, in the live action, which was cool. So yeah, I mean, if they took it for all that, that. That was a good choice. All right, well, what will I do next? Let's just get another one. Let's get this here. I'm just starting off. Yeah, World War One, um, cap. Okay, with the goggles. Yeah. Now here's a confession. I didn't. I didn't read. I. I think I only read like one of the ultimates. Which is at that time, you know, is when comics were getting a little hard to come by. I kind of left off and then discovered CBR, but sorry, digital comics. <clears throat> so, yeah, I should catch back up on my own comics. <laughs> So I'm going to do it again on the back of I thought the Hawkeye looked pretty cool. Actually, he's actually like, my favorite um, design in, in um, the Ultimate Adventures.
Ya. So I mean, yeah. Um, this is why I I choose not to go. Um, um, just like with the uh, with a just a drastic change uh, of Captain Planet of his design. Because you know. Again, don't want to make him look so different that people can't identify who he is. Ah. Oh, it's so different now. The basics. Um, I was thinking too, because it doesn't mean that like some characters don't need to be redesigned because you know just the initial thing was so bad. I think in that case, yeah, some characters like you <laughs> need to just go over a you know a complete makeover because it's just. Terrible the first, you know, the original. So, I'll just put this shield here. So how long have I been going? I'm not sure. I'm really, I'm not sure how long I've been going. I think I started that like afternoon. Um, yeah, probably just going to push it for another couple of minutes. And head off. Yes.
got some sleep to catch up on. Uh, even though working from home, still got that work to do. So, yeah. Close. Yeah, I definitely use right for sure. Bro, I, I, I overslept this one and just ran up the hills like a crazy person. So. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> you go <also>, slide. <laughs> you, uh, I would say you got four to I know you got a schedule you try to work to do so. Oh, word. Yeah, what's up with him? Oh yeah. Hey, yeah, I sorry, I remember you. Yeah. Thing. I was. I knew was asking. I was out cold, but I, I, I was close to being out cold because <laughs> I saw it and I'm like, yeah. But this is a little too hard. <laughs> yeah, I see y'all having a great combo for some knowledge again. I just got. Well, it's just a whole library of like pop culture and, and, and like the comic business on all too. Yeah, I was having fun, but that's what it is. So that's good stuff. Tell me, say Yeah, that was cool to got. It's cool to got and connect. So, like, uh, for sure, definitely could assist this like. Like we hear about this is like I know this is like um like in the US is it's probably not much different but like you they are kinda of closer to being around the stuff that you know that we wanna do. Like we have nothing here. We we have no um we have no kind of studios that we could tour as kids. Nothing like that, right? So we kind of got to use the internet as our thing, and people don't put everything on the internet. Like, I again, I, I, I learned some techniques for animation um, from the guy from Disney that, that um, I had come. Um, to to you know to just uh, teach us traditional animation shout out to Michael Weisman um, but he taught us like all these little uh, exercises for, for animation that, that will help with the animation but not directly had anything to do with drawing or, or, or animating at all but it helps they, they, they used to help so much and that is something I have never seen in the art book I, or, or any animation video training video or anything like all of these little techniques just to 
help with your observational skills and you know, it's it's crazy so like so like if you go and talk to somebody if you can get close to, to somebody going to a convention and talk to one of these guys they can tell you things that you'll probably never um, see in a book just because I, I think just because it's something they don't necessarily think about what they will tell you about in a conversation as to how they do what they do and it may just be something that works for you as well Uh, we definitely got to talk about collab though, for sure. We're doing another collab. I, I, I don't really collab um, in terms of illustration and I'm going to so. I'm gonna start doing some um, Some more stuff for for me personally um, uh, mainly just to level up start getting the process down pat so that I could uh, so I can make the you know, comics just to flow within for lack of a better term Just gonna flat color this stuff. <laughs> Would you? That's a rhetorical question. Yeah, I'm a pa I can pass it to you for sure. <laughs> I, mean, I got all the um, all the palettes there and stuff. All the colors here on the character, so you can color pick. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you do this face. Um, 
I am going to I'm going to um, finish this other um, pose. You can be, you know, the face color. Yeah, the, you know, just coloring for that. Um, this other pose to here as well. And yeah. <laughs> But as it stands now, I can just finish this one. Hold up. Okay. Uh, I guess this is good news that uh, the computer hasn't crashed yet and they stream in and this is great news um, I think I, I also think there's something about was the last time it crashed I had um, I had the tools um, those setting those tools that help you um, adjust the settings for the video cards uh, installed on the computer and and it crashed but since I don't have it on now it, it, it doesn't seem to be crashing uh, I I don't think is at this point just one thing that that is causing computers to crash. It is it is related things are causing the computer to crash. So so um, drivers and um, yeah. drivers and the, the tools that are used with the drivers for the graphics and the GPU. Yeah, I think those I think those are really what's causing the problem. At least it would seem so by process of elimination. Uh, one of the things was definitely the BIOS needed to be reset. Um, Had to uninstall the driver for the for the integrated graphics on my CPU. Work better, work for longer. Um, then I um, installed it and didn't wait, didn't take too long before it crashed. So I realized that was causing a big problem. Um, the driver and tools for the NVIDIA card that I have in now that I currently run in graphics from um, that uh, I, I installed that and it was working for like the entire day and then crash the Sunday night so um, I did the one last thing and Um, that I used to do, which was restore the windows, which is kind of like a reinstall, but you get to keep your files in the place that you had them. Um, and yeah, and it, it hasn't crashed since. And it uninstalled all like the software and stuff like that, which includes the NVIDIA um, tool, hmm. the settings tool. So I haven't reinstalled it yet because it doesn't seem like I should because <laughs> right now is working fine and I don't want to mess that up let's get a little uh Thank you. 
get some get some mosaics and stuff. Rose on here, here. <laughs> they're separated enough that they don't really have to care if they're on the same end. I think the eyelashes will do as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, I think this match is probably one of the coolest to, one, well, sorry, one, one <laughs> the, the, the one, one of the ones that I enjoyed the most of to do, because, just because it came out so, so well. to purple. Feels good to be making progress. Some progress. Oh, it's actually looking pretty cool. These shoes now, I ain't great at shoes. I ain't got legs, so. Yeah, my get on that one, that's for real. I know that, that thing, that thing with the, with the, I, with the iPad not appropriate that was as definitely offsetting and off putting but I guess you gotta work back up to that point but having all your stuff like that like oh it's make your skin like earthy. Some of that green. Let's keep all the skin simple because there's gonna be there's gonna be animation. Gotta keep it. Um, definitely don't want to use too much colors.
bombs, and so if you want to get back any help for that, cool, like you, you know, um, especially the backgrounds and stuff if you At least that would easily just to like do the characters back. But if uh, you know. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it is. Let's try this purple here. Huh. I think that works actually. And we'll do black. Like full on black. So. And there's a blank. In the end, in the end, this might be a little too much detail, so. So, right, you bring it as a purple into that. Last thing. Oh, it's not. It's okay. Still not a big deal. Yeah, I know you stretched in, so yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, did you see Acon City, though? Like, when you look at it, like, you see the things that I was trying to do, like, that is it. I can, I can send you the link, or, or just search Acon City on YouTube, like, the first video that comes up, like, that's kind of what I was trying to do for one of the planets, but you will, you will know which planet wants you to do it because it's good. Especially from my designs. I didn't, I didn't take it from those, but like, yeah, because before I had knew about it, I, I was doing those, but, but yeah, that kind of thing. Nice. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely can do that. Uh, let's get this 
Messias. What I can do here is just add on those. Um, yeah, I can just add on these little pieces here. Add some of those accessories. Women's ring. Okay, that was a shoot. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, Accessories. Oh, work? Oh, yeah, yeah. I tell you, I tell you, uh, Omnitons can go international. Yeah, with that subject matter alone, and the way you tell it, right? The way you might portray it. Yeah. I mean, if you got mileage, Sean Thomas following you. You got no doubt that that hurt. This thing is to finish, or rather to start. Yeah, I know it takes more than that, but like, like I'm on like the Shigen, like, you can just follow you for no reason. If he think this stuff is good, he don't follow it though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, I agree. 
like I mean data on follow, which I, I don't get like how people take the time to unfollow you if they aren't seeing stuff from you. Like that means they would have had to be really invested in what you was doing in the first place to to even be looking for your stuff like that like like every day and then unfollow you if if you ain't bringing stuff out like. so don't worry about that you still like when you do more he can definitely see it if you're falling so okay stop with that In terms of in terms of going international, definitely yeah, I don't take Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna take some promotion. I mean, like anything else, and the constant stuff that you're putting up to will get some notice, as your other stuff have been that you was doing of recent. So. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, I would love to do it. I didn't think Tristan's style work would work for your um, for your stuff very well. Madness is so hard. Yeah, I would not doubt he would be. Like, that's our thing. That's our thing is touch so many people. Yeah, that pH, that pH is crazy. It just, just looking at it, I'm like, Shh. Um, let's see here. I could definitely see the like the Joe Mad influence like in some of uh, uh, Magnus's work. I know you all the time with Joe my last name. Well, yeah, I could definitely like, 
see the influence in his work, especially like like how he draws his forms. Can't really explain it, but it got this kind of Joma got this kind of style that that does uh, uh, um, how to follow this. Had this have this have these kind of hard hard edges into these hard hard cuts hard corners um, and points into these curvy wispy forms is yeah they crazy I think you would, I think you could get do <laughs> I mean <laughs> the board might be pretty expensive but <laughs> I mean, delve into it, got some well known artists to like do commissions and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. Yeah, for sure. I know he raised like stuff like that, like because I think well he had a part in like um, the Afro Samurai. Yeah, yeah, like just to get just to get their like their artwork is like a big honor, like. I think that they that they would like your project so much that they would actually do it too. Yeah, for sure. Bro, I'd do it for free. <laughs> right. I get recon from what I would you already know I'd rather do it for free. Um Okay, I made These are perfect slots, but I guess it would be a joke for no. Not perfect slots at all. But. They do a little clean up and a little refining. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I I like that, but you know, 
wants it, it wants it to do something, you know. Yeah, then maybe sure. I ain't gonna say no. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Okay, in some cases, I actually just like flat colors, like straight up flat colors. Like, I think, I honestly think, like, if you could, if you can leave your colors as flat and it could tell the story you was it good colors <laughs> should be like this So this is This is pretty much done. And what do you think? So you already know, like, I can be sad this to you. So once I get the uh, the other pose done, yeah, I don't know, I I probably showed you this before, but I I always like to thanks man. I always like to do like do a color scheme. Um, just to make sure that the colors reading against each other well. Like to um, fill a uh, like to fill a layer with white, and then go, uh, what is it color? Just making sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll put some highlights for sure. I'm gonna pass it to you first. <laughs> yeah, but just to make sure that my colors read properly, I, I like to do this thing. I put it in black and white and make sure like the colors stand out against each other. It should look like they did they, like they are uh, right now, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely when you designing your characters and you put the colors. Yeah, so, sometimes, sometimes just just doing this black and white stuff. Even though your colors might look cool in color, like, like when you do them in black and white, and uh, um, and you can't tell the skin from the 
Okay, I'll tell the skin from here. Yeah, adjust the colors. You can adjust the colors um, in value. Kind of, kind of simplify it. Uh, don't a value instead of you know thinking about what color you is. Uh, you have to do. Um, all you know is that you can go to lighten some colors and darken some colors. <laughs> And it actually makes it look ten times more appealing. <laughs> yeah, but this is me for tonight. Thanks, bro, for coming in and for whoever may have been watching. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Peace.